I'll be trying to pop this wine bottle with high pressure air, so I've started to get it ready. The neck has been uh, roughed up on the inside with the grindstone to make the glass uh, have a good rough surface to bond to the epoxy. And I've uh, put a little uh, ball of paper in the bottom of the neck and then poured about an inch of epoxy into the neck, which I'm now letting harden. Once the epoxy plug hardens, I'll drill and tap it for 1 8 NPT. And uh, once that's been done, I'll be able to uh, use my uh, usual brass adapter like I used for the whiskey bottle that popped at around 130 psi. But this thing I'm holding will uh, screw in like that once it's been uh, drilled and tapped. So I'll pick up the video when the bottle's ready to be uh, popped. Well, here's the wine bottle again, and uh, what's been done is the epoxy plug hardened. I've drilled and tapped for uh, 1 8 NPT. Then I've wet the threads on my adapter with epoxy and threaded it into the epoxy plug where it's now hardening. There's a better look at the neck of the bottle. Hopefully that will uh, be able to take lots of pressure with no leaking. And let me burst the bottle. The bottle is uh, ready, epoxy is hardened, hopefully everything's leak proof. So the bottle's in the target area, and I can get the pressure gauge and the uh, bottle in the frame. So it looks like we're set up to go here. Let's take a shot. For safety, I'll be starting the compressor remotely due to the dangerous risk of flying glass. This is one of these experiments you might want to watch on the video rather than trying yourself because of uh, high-velocity flying glass. I'm not at home. I'm uh, at my machine shop to do this, and let's get it started. Well, I think I heard an explosion there. Here we can see uh, part of the aftermath. I had a quarter inch thick plexiglass safety shield to block a lot of the uh, glass and uh, the safety shield was uh, blown into pieces as you can see here. 
It was also uh, deeply scored by some of the uh, glass fragments. You can see the pits. They're white in the uh, surface of the plexi. The bottle itself was blown into tiny pieces, as you can see here. I got a uh, perfect seal at the neck with my epoxy plug, which you can see uh, survived. Uh, absolutely no other part of the bottle is left that's bigger than maybe uh, an inch by an inch. For this uh, video, my containment worked fairly well. I don't have a lot of uh, broken glass to clean up. Most of it stayed uh, inside the enclosure. That's all for this glass bottle. Uh, thanks for watching, and there'll be uh, more videos coming soon.